first half of the field course, we take the students around various habitats um, around the place where we're staying. So they, they visit a beach, the beach habitat, for example, where they do an experiment in estimating the population sizes of beetles. I think my favorite part of the the planned experiments was the beetles because when we were out there setting all the pitfall traps you'd hardly see any beetles and then at the end of the day each of the 144 cups we set would have at least like 10 beetles in it and it made you realize how much was actually going on that you couldn't see in the when you were just walking along the beach another experiment they, they we asked them to do was look at water striders which are little bugs which um, basically skate on top of the surface of water. We worked also with wasps, which was a lot less frightening than it sounded at first. This is another really important part of the course, is allowing them to develop their own scientific ideas, giving them training on to, uh, about the scientific method, how to develop a scientific experiment, what things you need to control for, why are some scientific experiments bad, why are some good, and what the proper way to do things are. Another aspect is, once they get the data, we, we help them to analyse it properly using the proper statistical tools. Because it's part of the Mediterranean, the Mediter Mediterranean habitat is actually quite diverse and unique, and as such they get to see quite a different type of ecosystem. Especially in the south of Spain, there were so many different things growing in the same area. I never had thought about plants in much detail. I'd never taken an ecology course before. And just learning about the complex ways that like, the strategies for reproduction in plants was really interesting. And I think just the hands-on aspect of the course was really amazing, just to make you feel a lot more connected with what you were learning. You retain the information a lot better than reading it from a book or studying it through a lecture. It makes it a lot more real and concrete. I learned that I'm a lot less afraid of handling bugs than I once thought, so I've, it's opened some doors for me in terms of bug handling careers. Um... <laughs>